This is the life of an Amazon employee who works 40 hours a week at $13.25 an hour. I'm going to start off and I'm going to show you my food cabinet. These groceries here I got months ago. Uh, I have some refried beans. I have a can of corn. Some tamales. Some soup. And some tuna. And a little box of Triscuits. I have a stale box of cereal. One Velveeta thing. And some little tiny cans that come from the Dollar Tree of chicken salad. This is my food cabinet. I'm going to pan over here so you can see that there's absolutely no other food in my cabinets. I'm going over here. This is my dishes. Here's my stove. These are some of the pill bottles that Amazon's doctors have issued to me for my workers comp injury. And on workers comp I only get $246 a week. And here we have more pill bottles. Some of them I've already thrown away because I took them all. And one was a uh, muscle relaxer, non-narcotic. And another one was some type of uh, prednisone Z-pack or something to help me uh, with the muscle spasms in my back. I live in an RV and I'm really sorry for all the mess but you see my suitcases are packed and ready to go because I'm in the process of being evicted since being on workers comp. This right here is everything I own. I can fit it into my car. This is the bathroom to the RV, the bedroom, the toilet area, and the shower. I'm coming back into the kitchen and I want to show you what $13.25 an hour gets you. Now I sleep on the couch. And now I'm sitting on the couch. As a Amazon employee, I should not have to struggle like this. And the reason why I've struggled so much is because Amazon kept taking me off leave and putting me back on leave. Taking me off leave and putting me back on leave. And this has been going on since November the 11th of 2017. I've gotten behind in my rent. And I have that paper right here that I can show you. And show you that it is currently dated. And I just got this put in my mailbox on May the 1st. And... You see the date? 
42418. I am now fourteen hundred and fifty six dollars and sixty cents behind in my rent. Being on workers comp has cost me to lose two pant sizes and also cost me to be homeless. No, I'm not homeless right now because I was expecting the buyout from Amazon that was going to pay me $2,000 to quit after a year and that way I could catch up on my rent. But since I've been on workers comp, they are finding some type of loophole that because I haven't had one year of continuous employment, that I might not be ageable, eligible for the $2,000. And I was going to use $2,000 to catch up on my rent. And of course, buy me some groceries. I live very frugally. I have a car, a 1997 Ford Taurus. And it is a V8. And it does suck a lot of gas. I have my car insurance, which is $28 a month. And I also have a phone bill that is $40 a month. And that's all the bills that I have. But when a full-time Amazon employee is only technically allowed to eat every couple of days, just so I can make my food last longer. Something's wrong with our society. I don't qualify for food stamps because I do have a full-time job. Yes, I could go to the food bank and get some food, which I have done. But it's not food that I can prepare because I don't have the extras to put in the food such as milk, butter, and whatever else I can make a meal with. It, it's not meal preparation food. It's cans of yams, cans of kidney beans. And I know that if I get hungry enough, even though I've never ate a yam, I, I would probably open it up and eat it. I have $5.46 in my bank account because last week my bank decided they were going to do away with all the prepaid checking cards without notifying anybody. So not only was my half a week of workers comp on there, or supposed to be on there, and my $34 that I was supposed to get from Amazon for my short-term disability, those could not be directly deposited to my account on Thursday because on Monday, unbeknownst to me, they closed my bank account out. So whatever monies I had on my bank account, guess what? They sent that check to my old address. So now the bank has to wait until they send that check back. And then they can reissue me a new check. to my current address. Amazon and Sedgwick both told me that 
when they direct deposited my workers comp check and my short-term disability check of $34 my workers comp check was $105 that they cleared the bank but yet I don't have no money I have one dollar in my purse and I have five dollars and forty six cents on my new bank card I have no food and I have no gas and I'm a full-time Amazon employee the newest thing that I found out last week was that Sedgwick the peer review group that Sedgwick outsourced all of my medical bills for I've been on workers comp for six months because I injured myself at Amazon they outsourced my medical records to a peer review group and that peer review group looked at my MRI taken six months after my injury and looked at my medical records and determined that I was not injured any longer through Amazon and that Sedgwick needed to cease and desist my payments to me immediately now mind you I got this email the same day I found out my bank account was canceled which was Wednesday I called my son he's 24 because I was so overwhelmed that I could not comprehend what was going on it's like I went out of out of my body and was floating above my own body sitting in my car at Walmart crying uncontrollably that this is happening to me so I have been without food now for a couple of months I do go to the Dollar General store and I buy the little two dollar meals that they have on the shelf the little Denty Moore meals and those are really good by the way especially when you're hungry but I buy those meals because it fills me up and I actually look forward to eating them because I thought I would spend my money at the Dollar General store where I could eat at least a couple times a week instead of going to McDonald's or Taco Bell and only eating once so I started buying those but I actually look forward to eating every other day I've lost two pant sizes my jeans won't stay up on me I have to use a belt with extra holes poked in them now because my pants won't stay up all the while my tummy growling And trying to make it through another day without having to think about food or how I'm gonna pay my bills and my landlady gave me until I come back off of leave till May 22nd to come up with the whole fourteen hundred dollars well I had a plan and my plan was is I was getting 246 a week from workers comp and I was going to give them 200 a week up until May 22nd and that would have at least paid off 
half, if not most. You know, 800 bucks, it would have paid off. But Wednesday, I told you I got the letter from workers' comp saying that they had stopped my workers' comp and that my injury was due to old age, not work. Well, I'm 49 years old, and I have never been sick a day in my life. I don't go to the doctor. I don't have any injuries. I don't take any medicines on a regular basis up until now. I've had to be put on anxiety medication because of everything I've dealt with with Amazon. I felt like I was literally having a heart attack. I almost went to the emergency room a couple times because it felt like my heart was speeding up like it was going to just explode or pop out of my chest. And I managed to calm myself down because I knew what was happening to me was not good for my health. And I went to my OB doctor and I asked him to put me on something because I couldn't handle it anymore. And he hesitated putting me on anything because his exact words are, he didn't want to be known for you know, passing out medicines for anxiety or depression or anything because he's an OB doctor. Well, that's fine. I can understand that, you know. And he had to code it something different on my paperwork so my insurance would pay for it. So he checked menopause, even though I've already gone through menopause 10 years ago. Early, I know, but I did it. I'm one of the lucky ones. So I've been on Selexa now for two months, and let me tell you what, emotionally, I don't feel any different. Yes, it has stopped my heart from racing, but as far as um, being beneficial to my psyche, it has not. My mind constantly wanders. I have racing thoughts of, yes, suicide. And Wednesday, I wanted to take my car and drive it off of Eagle Mountain Dam so bad because I couldn't handle the stress anymore. <laughs> I just don't understand how they think that one person can handle so much stress when I'm already doing horrible. And it's not like I blow and go with my money and I buy things that I shouldn't. I don't have any money to buy anything. The $246 I was getting a week because I didn't go more than 30 miles from my doctor's appointment, I was using that $211 a week for gas in my car, driving to Amazon, dropping off paperwork. From my house here in Azle, Texas to Amazon in Haslett, Texas is 30 miles one way. So that's 60 miles round trip. Not counting having to drive 17 miles to the doctor and home, 26 miles to my physical therapy and home, that there was no money left for rent. There was no money left for food. And the only reason why I have a phone, the only reason why I have a phone is because I made it a priority to have a phone because that is the only way Amazon communicates is through email. I don't get calls from them. They've never once called me and checked up on me to see how I was doing. 
The only people that call me was my insurance adjuster for Sedgwick. And that was to let me know the prognosis of my case, whether it be good or bad, or switching doctors. So I'm, I'm really not in a good position right now. So in less than two weeks, I'm going to show you what I will be living out of with all of my stuff as an Amazon employee making $13.25 an hour. And that is my car. A 1997 Ford Taurus and this is my RV that I live in there is absolutely no reason why a full-time employee for Amazon, the world's largest corporation in America, owned by the world's richest man, Jeff Bezos, why an employee should be living like this. I've sold all my jewelry. I've pawned all my guns that I used to have. I have nothing of evidentiary value, nothing at all. And I'm about to the point where I'm going to go down to the plasma center and donate plasma so I can buy some groceries. I'm not asking you to feel sorry for me. I didn't ask to get hurt at Amazon on their faulty equipment either. I just want you to be a well aware of people really live like this. This is real. This isn't something made up just to get money or GoFundMe or, or any of that crap. This is real life. And this is how real life people live. We don't live on a high horse up in a mansion somewhere eating steaks every night or eating out. So while Jeff Bezos is enjoying his steak every night, I want him to know personally what I'm going to be eating for supper tonight. Let's see here. I have so many choices. Crackers and cheese. Sounds good to me. I could eat some tuna fish on some crackers or I can dip the crackers in uh, some refried beans here that my friends is corporate America <laughs>